to Gymshark. So Gymshark same asking for the email again have to be tested, but you decide what you will do with that. I would personally like try to get people into the product page and then after I would try to push those promotions. But I would not try to like push the promotions when they are reading the about us because right now maybe they're trying to get a clear picture of who we are and uh, and what we do and what's our values and do they resonate with the brand and do they want to order from our website. So it's maybe not the right timing to disrupt. So Megan Ave. It's, it's a lot of like different categories in this navigation. I would recommend um, trying to break it down a bit better. Maybe, maybe using icons, maybe using categories, maybe like, I don't know. There's just a lot to go through. I don't know if people have that attention span to go through all the different sections. So I would try to take some random people and asking them to find like a particular section of the website and, uh, and see how they go. Um, but if I see that they're taking more than like 10 seconds to find the product or like to find the category, uh, I would seriously change the navigation bar. Cool. Banners are cool. A lot of work. It's very clean as well. Very minimalist. It shows the product. Don't hesitate here to like on your banners too, because it seems like you do your banners yourself. Um, don't hesitate to have some USBs right here. Yeah, so here, for example, I don't know if it's provided by the brand or not, but um, yeah, if you can have the pricing or if there's a way to like communicate better information through this. I'm just curious to see the storytelling. And then after we're getting to the footer. It's a big website. Let's see the new release. See and get him. Cool, let's get into product page. A lot of filters. I'm actually curious to see um, how this page get us to in mobile. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Clean. Again, this is this is awesome. Because people don't need to click on those like small bubbles anymore. They can actually see that there's more pictures. And because they have a vignette, they can actually visualize. I don't see reviews. But I'm quite sure this a website like this get reviews on. Maybe not on this particular products. Let's try to see this one. Yeah, so for example, on this particular website, um, I don't know how many sales they do a day, but Conversion rate should not be too too low from what I can see. It just seems quite functional. Um, however, like I would try to add the reviews if it's possible as a feature. And um, yeah, because it seems like a cool community. So I would try even to, because I don't know where this brand is famous on, um, if it's like local or national. But if um, 
if they could even show the face of the people that have been buying. Um, so I don't know if they connected to their LinkedIn or if they connected to to their Instagram or whatever. But having like a, a small picture of them as a portrait would actually build more trust as well. Let's have a look at the email sign up. Yeah, that's um, that's a lot of questions on the form. Like, I understand, you know, um, I like to ask full name. And then after we have some AIs now that basically, you know, tell us what's the first name, what's the last name. And most of the time we'll have it right because um, it will check it with another tool. But yeah, that's that's a lot of things to feel. Maybe you should do a social connect then, because if you do a social connect, you already have those information. You already have this, and those informations will have to be confirmed, but the email address will already be there too. So I would add a social connect here on this particular page. Cool.